First up, on the Emerging Company of the Year Award, this is given to an organization that is a rising star and has emerged from its development phase with tremendous momentum and is poised to build on that momentum with rapid sales growth. Nominees must demonstrate innovation, growth, and leadership in their field. These are the companies that are starting to tap their enormous potential and that will soon be leaders in their fields. We had an incredible group of award nominees, which is not a surprise. This year was not different than many others. And it was hard to boil down into just five finalists. As you'll see, the range of innovations taking place is truly impressive and inspirational. Each of these finalists is built around potential game-changing technology. So let me tell you who the finalists are. The first, Boston Metal, which is building a plant to produce decarbonized steel using a fully electrified industrial process. You can give them a round of applause. You can recognize it. Oh, great. <laughs> connect DER, which offers a simple, affordable way to connect solar panels, EV charging, and batteries to a home or a building. Divert, which processes more than 232,000 tons of wasted food annually and is building out a network of anaerobic digesters designed to capture food waste emissions and convert them into energy. Flux Marine, which has developed electric outboard boat engines that eliminate greenhouse gas emissions leakage in exhaust fumes while significantly reducing noise. <laughs> Subline systems, which has developed an electrified process to produce clean concrete and is building out its first plant to manufacture it at scale. I should say, just say, just so you know how these are decided, it's not me, um, uh, I, although I am one vote, we had almost two dozen um, folks voting on the final side. It is tough, and many times we have nominees more than one year, because, and we want to be, we want to have tough choices. That means there's a lot of innovation and technology we're bringing to bear. And the winner is, so we have two winners. Boston Metal and Subline Systems. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, NECC, for having us as part of this spectacular uh, opportunity. We are uh, very happy to receive this, especially uh, because we are receiving this with Sublime, who we need uh, uh, to, to recognize as, uh, as a great, fantastic company. So I know Leah for a long time, and uh, actually I was dreaming for this to happen, so I'm really, really happy. Now, the thing is, uh, if uh, dew point reach your body temperature, you die. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter who you vote for. So you better believe that. And it's a privilege to be living in the decades that we will save the planet. So please do whatever you can. It's our responsibility. We have to do it. Now, we are decarbonizing steel. It's steel is responsible for 8% of all the CO2 emitted in the world. And it's a privilege to be doing this here in Massachusetts where we had the first steel manufactured in the continent, right across the street in Sogos. It is really nice to go full circle around and develop the process that will uh, produce steel in the new way without any coal. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, NEC. Good evening, everyone. I am so delighted and, and grateful to have 
uh, be honored by this award. And I'm also so happy to win it with Boston Metal, who's done amazing work building their first full-scale plant in Brazil. That's um, really um, amazing work where they're actually they're actually doing something, you know, like you can have PowerPoints and um, you can win, you know, raise funds, but, but actually doing something is what really makes the impact. Um, and I'm just so grateful to be part of the community that includes you all, includes, you know, Greentown Labs and includes politicians. Um, you know, our landlords are here, Suffolk Construction is here, which is helping us bring our product to market. Um, and, you know, cement and steel go together hand in hand like salt and pepper when it comes to the built environment. And both of those are responsible for about 8% of global CO2 emissions. So there's no way we're going to achieve net zero unless we address both of those two sectors. Sublime's mission is to have a swift and a massive impact on global CO2 emissions. And that swiftness of our impact can't be had unless we all work together. And so I'm just so, um, I'm so privileged and heartwarmed to be here with you all and to have your support as we go and do this um, as quickly and as massively as possible.